is equivalent to you attempting to halt the changing of the seasons. No matter how much you might love the winter, well, this doesn't mean that the summer is not already set and will eventually come in, no matter how comfortable you are with a particular season. In no wise would that stop the process or the transition of the seasons changing. Well, this is on par with the rise and fall of kingdoms and empires. And this can be proven by going right here to the book of Daniel, the second chapter. And the 21st verse, it says, And he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and set up, up kings. Yeah, let's read this again. It says, And he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. So you see here where the removal and setting up of kings is in the same breath with the changing of times and seasons. See? It says, He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. Now, real quick, when you click on this word, time, right here, it says time, time of duration, year. But when you scroll down here to the strong definitions for this word, time, it says a set, <laughs> a set time. See that? A set time. So just like the seasons and the coming and going of the seasons according to the ordinance of Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shah, what is also applies to the rise and fall of kingdoms and empires. There's nothing you could do to stop that maturation, that process. So yeah, I just wanted to touch on that, Lord willing. It was edifying. Till the next time I say, Shalom.